Hi guys, JB here from Alpha Wolf Consulting. All right, coming to you now with the activities for the self-belief course. And this is activity one, which is creating new beliefs. So this activity is all about how do I create a new belief? So if we understand that a belief is just a thought or a thought pattern or a narrative or a story on repeat, okay, and when I say repeat, I mean repetitively, but also consistently. So to create a belief, we must first form a habit. And that's what a belief is, a thought in habit. So if we understand how, how habits are formed, it takes 90 days to lock in a new habit. So three months. So by me curating new or creating new beliefs and choosing to focus on them for three months on new thoughts, okay? So let's say we're trying to create the belief, the self-belief of I can do this for 90 days. Whenever I get the feeling of insecurity, self-doubt, lack, I must repeat to myself, you can do this. I can do this. This is something I can do. And we keep repeating it day after day after day. And what we are trying to do is we are trying to recondition when I have a feeling of lack, self-doubt or fear or insecurity that this is the synaptic pathway that fires, okay? So through repetitively conditioning in that, that thought, so that language pattern of I can do this, and then assigning it every time I feel specific ways or every time specific thoughts happen, I am basically signaling to my, my conscious and subconscious mind through conscious awareness of thoughts and direction of focus that when insecurity comes up, this is the thought pattern that is run. So what we have to do okay, is we have to become aware of our thoughts and feelings. So in this activity, oh, one second, in this activity, what we want to do, oh, if we go down, is we want to have a couple of tools that will help us to get this going. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to focus on mapping our thoughts. What are my positive thoughts? What are my negative thoughts? What are my empowering thoughts? What are my disempowering thoughts? Okay. We also want to understand what are we trying to change? So it's very easy, this activity. All we need is a notepad. Okay. A notepad and some conscious awareness or conscious thought or directed focus. So for 30 minutes to an hour every day, you can break it up into segments, whatever you want to do. You could break it into five minute segments. You could break it into 10 minute segments. You could break it into 15 or half an hour segments, or you could just do an hour straight. What we want to sit there and focus on is what are the beliefs that will empower myself? So this is all about creating the identity of self. What we're trying to do is map out, well, what do I want to use as my statements of empowerment or, you know, these new beliefs that we are creating, these language patterns, these narratives, these stories, we want to write them down, okay, and have a list of however many you want to have and basically every time, for example, I feel self-doubt, I go there and I read, what is the belief I wish to implant? What is the synaptic pathway I wish 
to promote. And what we want to do is we want to work on directed focus. So sitting there and if it is, I can do this. Then when I feel insecure, I just repeat, I can do this. 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 Okay. And what we want to do is every time those feelings come up, we just choose a different one or we can choose the same one. And for 90 days, we're just going to repeat these positive statements or these positive affirmations or these positive language patterns or these positive narratives or stories. And after the 90 days, every time that I feel this way, my, my subconscious mind will start running these processes and practices. So it is very, very important that we understand that the 90 days is required for it to become for our synaptic pathways to become so strong that this becomes the most comfortable action for my subconscious mind to take. That way I don't have to direct the focus. So in the beginning, what I will have to do is focus on consciously when I feel that reading what I have written and then repeating it. And what will happen as I get closer to the 90 days is when I start to feel that my subconscious mind will start ignition, will start to ignition, ign, initiate that synaptic pathway, that language pattern. Okay. So it's, it's very, very important that we understand this. But also what we want to understand is what are the overarching goals of this new belief? Do I want to feel empowered? Do I want to feel comfortable? Do I want to feel soothed? Do I want to feel, you know, comforted? Whatever it may be. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand how to align those feelings to this new language pattern or belief. That way, when I believe I can do this, I feel empowered when I say that. So in the start, what we have to do is we have to consciously direct the new language pattern narrative or story that we are telling ourselves, and we have to assign a feeling. So we have to be conscious about how that makes us feel. When I say I can do this, does it make me feel empowered or do I feel disempowered still? Am I just repeating words or am I repeating a statement of empowerment? And that's a very important thing because what adds, what adds like the weight or the feeling to the words is the meaning I put behind it. Does the statement, I can do this, mean that I am willing to put in the work to do this? Does it mean that I am willing and happy and grateful to do this? Is this something that makes me feel good about myself? Because that is what we are trying to do. We are trying to as associate feelings to language, okay, and we are trying to ingrain it in our subconscious mind or our subconscious patterns of thought that run, and every time I feel self-doubt, my subconscious mind will run the pattern of you can do this or I can do this until I feel empowered by that statement until I feel that emotional shift. So write down in a notepad all of the statements that you, or beliefs. Now, a belief can be a single word. It can be a language pattern, so a structure of words. It might even be a narrative, a story. 
when someone does something to me, do I create a story of oh, people always do this to me? If someone lies, cheats or steals with me, am I reinforcing people always lie, cheat and steal from me? Or am I consciously changing that to create something empowering? Food for thought. All right. Practice this for the next 90 days. And you will see shifts in your subconscious mind. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next activity. Bye.